Hey everyone, it's Alicia with Twisted Tarot and I'm back for another pick a card reading. So this reading is going to be, have they gotten a tarot reading on you? And if so, what would that tarot reading say? Even if the answer is no, I'm still going to do the tarot reading and um, give you the information of what I would tell your person um, if they actually went to me and got a tarot reading. So um, this is a fun one and um, it's inspired. I think, you know, a lot of different readers have done this topic. And um, as I was scrolling through, um, I happened to be like, oh, that's really cool. Um, so shout out to you guys for the topic. So thank you so much. And um, let's find out. So we have three different piles here. Pile number one is this beautiful High Priestess tarot card. It is a keychain. Pile number two is this... Um, I don't know what that um, stone or crystal is, so I really couldn't say, so I'm, I apologize. If one of you knows and wants to put, wants to put it down, go ahead. Um, when I bought it, it was a long time ago, and I just came across it, and I've had it since I was really little, so, or, you know, 12. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm super old. Just kidding. I'm only 40. <laughs> All right, so, and then pound number three is this beautiful headdress. I actually made this in Girl Scouts, so um, I believe. I think this I was made. I either bought it or made it, one of the, one of the two. Um, so, yeah. So, if you need to, you can pause the video to make your selection. Let me put this upright so everybody can see how beautiful it is. Okay, it's a little headdress. It's gorgeous. Okay, so I will see you at your pile. All right, so if you get to pile number one, the High Priestess keychain. I got this um, at Bewitched in Denton. They are an amazing uh, shop for uh, anything you could possibly need. Um, they have stones, crystals, tar tarot cards, books. Um, just they're uh, it's just amazing. A plethora of stuff. So check them out. Um, they are awesome, and uh, the owners are uh, fantastic. Very kind. Very sweet and um, some, gr some great people in Denton. So um, check them out. They are, um, they're going to, they're massively popular. They moved shops and no wonder, you know, cause they have so much to offer. Um, they are at a huge location now. Um, they started out small and grew very rapidly. Um, and I, I figured they would being in a city like, like Denton, um, very popular. And um, just in general, they know how to run a business, right? So, um, and they're amazing people and <laughs> wonderful. So check them out. So if you picked pile number one, this is your pile, the high priestess here. Let's find out um, if your person got a tarot reading and if they did, um, what that tarot reading said. If they did not get a tarot reading, uh, what we will do is just kind of go into uh, like what a tarot reader like myself, obviously I'd be the one doing it, <laughs> would say to your person um, about their situation and um, what what I would tell them um, So and what that reading would be like. So let's kind of dig in and see what that would be. It's kind of a personal reading for your person that you get to listen in on. So that's really cool. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am an intuitive tarot card reader, tarot card reader, and uh, medium, a psychic, empath. Um, lots of I could name a lot of different things, but um, I am a jack of all trades. So welcome to my channel, and I hope that um, you enjoy your reading. And um, comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you would like a personal reading, obviously that information is down below as well. Um, if you want something uh, more, you know, if if, you, if this resonates and you want something more. Or if it doesn't resonate, you know, and, and none of the piles do, definitely um, check me out for a reading. But um, one way that you can get uh, messages on my channel as well, just so you're aware real quick, is, um, you know, by commenting, liking, sharing, subscribing, all those good things. Um, they help uh, give your energy into the channel and so that I can pick up on it and that we can, um, you know, get your, your information for your people here as well. So, um, here we are. Let's find out. Let's dig in. This is juicy, juicy, juicy. Um, I am doing this again. I just want to let you guys know for this pile because, um, I was having some trouble in the beginning, um, trying to figure out a way to do this. So I'm back again. We're trying again and we're here to, um, to see if we can, um, make this a little more easy to understand. So let's see, has your person gotten a tarot reading about you? Let's answer that question. No. 
Okay, so your person has not gotten a tarot reading about you, so we have a no card here. All right, so that's okay. We're not gonna stop. We have a reading to give, so we're gonna tell your person um, what they need to hear, what the messages are for them. From now on, I'm gonna be speaking to your person. However, because this reading was difficult the first time because there are twin flames that are watching this pile um, that are that are going to resonate with this pile or had picked this pile, they're asking about a twin flame. Some of you are not asking about a love partner and that's fine, so some of this will not apply, but for those of you that are asking about a twin flame dynamic, it is difficult for me to split that energy up sometimes, so I'm gonna be speaking to both of you, okay? So um, take what resonates, okay, and leave the rest. Or take what's yours and leave the rest is what I say here, so, okay. All right, let's see. cards out and then we'll get into your messages so like I said before you guys uh, could very well be dealing with um, uh, like someone that you previously had a um, partnership with or currently um, have a you know have a partnership with this is someone you could currently be with uh, we, we have I love you unconditionally this person loves you a lot okay so remember, I'm talking to your person, so you, um, and you may have told them like, I love you unconditionally, like, you know, you can, you, you can fuck up and you know, I, I still love you, you know, like I'm, I'm still, I'm still there for you. Like, I feel like this person's kind of like ride or die. Like, you know, they're, they're like, you know, I'm here for you, whatever you need. Okay. Okay. And this could be friendship too. You know, this person could be like, you know, like. This could be someone that you have like a crush on. I did get that as well when I first did the, the reading the first time. I also felt like family could have been involved in the situation as well with this pile. So that can also resonate for some of you. So this could just be a family member that you're asking about to see if they've gotten a tarot reading about you. And most of them have not. I'm not saying that no none of this pile you know, has gotten a tarot reading. Now, if you're a twin flame, you have probably had a tarot reading at some point about your person, okay? So, and this pile, um, not only did I feel the twin flame thing um, when I did it the first time, you did not get the twin flame card, okay? But now that I've redone the cards because I freshly pulled, you got the twin flame card. So, and this is not a card that I pull very often. Um, however, I am on a twin flame journey, but as far as like readings and things like that, it's not very common for me to do so, okay? Uh, it's a very rare card. To get even though you know this is a you know a lot of people are on twin flame um, journeys or know about twin flames or have heard of twin flame dynamics so but this in itself doesn't necessarily have to mean a twin flame um, this can be uh, this can be you being on a twin flame journey um, and coming into or or on a journey of union with a person um, this is about duality union coupling and complement each other so you guys have a very high vibe in connection okay and this um with this love here there's a lot of love um your person loves you very very much um it says express your love okay so maybe you haven't told your person this but maybe they just know maybe they can feel this because most soulmate dynamics or soul connections usually can you know feel that from the other person and they have a pretty good idea you know when somebody is in love with them i mean I mean, I don't know how you could not know. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of ways that people show that they are in love, okay? And so this is one of the ways that I feel like you guys show um, your love. You express it to this person quite a bit and you make these romantic gestures. Um, what they're also saying is if this is a crush, communicate it to your, to your person. I feel like this is a secret admirer. Somebody may be really admiring you from afar and kind of keeping an eye on you. They think you're, you know, you're very beautiful, very attractive. Here we have um, the woman. So you could be dealing with a feminine energy, okay? So 
this is what's coming up. This woman loves you. Okay. If you're asking like, does this person love me? Like, even if it's just a crush, like, do they have like crushy feelings for me? Or are they like in love with me? You know, some of you, they're like, they want to profess that they are in love with you. They admire you a lot with that secret admirer. Um, they wouldn't even mind if you kept them as a lover in the night, like a little temporary thing, like where you guys just like temporarily hooked up and they're, some of them are just okay with that. Like, you know, and they want to tell you that. Um, and they're okay with like expressing their love like that. Um, if you are dealing with you as the, um, as your person, if your person is dealing with, um, like someone in their sphere, as far as like maybe, um, like a choice or something with the lovers here reverse. Um, I think feel that the choice is pretty clear, um, who you should choose. Um, there's a, you know, there's your divine feminine and there's not your divine feminine. So I'm never going to not root for my divine feminines because divine feminists have done the work. Okay. And they deserve to be chosen and, um, you know, bless, you know, everyone who, um, doesn't see, bless their heart. Anybody, you know, that's Texan speak for fuck you basically who doesn't see that. Like, and I feel like, um, you may have taken your feminine for granted here. Um, her heart for granted. I am feeling that, um, this, this feminine is like, um, not sure. Uh, there's like an unsure idea about the situation where like things may not have been expressed. Okay. And you know, I feel like your feminine, if you think that they love you, they want to tell you that, um, they want to express their love to you. Um, if it's vice versa and you're the one who hasn't expressed it to, um, your feminine, um, spirit can see that you have those feelings for this person or they go deeper. Okay. Some of you, it's just a secret crush. Okay. So it's not all that deep. Some of you, however, it is deep. Okay. And you do, you do feel deeply for your person with that express your love. Okay. So we can see that, um, there's a lot of communication or there could be communication here or issue issues with communication with, with Mercury here. And that is the ruler of Gemini and Virgo, I believe. Um, so your person could, um, the person that, um, is coming to this reading, you could be asking about your, your feminine could be a Gemini or a Virgo or be very good at communication. There's something to do with communication coming through here. Um, and this communication is being, um, maybe something hasn't been expressed yet because we do have Neptune. Neptune can be kind of mysterious, a little bit, uh, oh, I keep saying mercur mercurial, but that's not what I feel because we have mercury here. Mercurial, um, can be very elusive as well. If they want to, if their communication style is communicating through Piscean energy, um, which could be the case. And so maybe you guys have different ways of communicating, but Neptune is here to show that the feelings run very, very deep. There's a deep spiritual connection. There's a deep soul connection between you and this person. Um, your feminine may be icing you out right now. They may still love you. They may always love you unconditionally. Maybe they're waiting for you to make the move towards them and to choose them or to show them some type of love here. Um, because we have a lot of reversed cards here. We have a lot of blocks. Um, I feel like this feminine, feminine, excuse me, this feminine is your feminine. If you're asking about a feminine is healing. Okay. If you're asking about yourself, um, you know, obviously you're coming to the reading and you're, you're asking about, you know, so, you know, this, you, <laughs> the person who's here at the reading, a person's asking about you, um, there it's probably the message that you want to give to them is that you need healing. They need healing. So this could be where you guys are at right now because the ice queen is about non-action and preserving things here with the, with the words on the card specifically say that ideas preserved, non-action and entitlement. Number 28 could be significant. It could be an age, could be a date, um, some type of number, um, that's significant. Um, it signifies number 10, um, which is the completion of cycles here. So the ice queen, um, they may be feeling like you are, have withdrawn. You may be a little cold. You may be in the star energy, just trying to heal. We have the lovers reverse and the four of swords reverse. So there's a lot of, this is kind of stagnation here, or this is a breakup, or this is a shakeup that has happened within a connection. Okay. And this is somebody needing to make a choice, somebody needing to heal a situation. Um, it could be that your person that you're coming to the reading about, um, they have some health issues. They've been suffering with um, some, I, I feel like they've been suffering with their thoughts right now with the four of swords and the lovers that this has caused them to um, overthink, obsess, 
uh, which is very easily, easily happens in the twin flame journey or just in a journey with um, um, some where, the, where there's choices here. So um, this woman has given their heart to you or their heart is here saying like, hello, like right here, love, romance, joy, bliss, your heart's desire. Like, you, you know, you, you, this is, this is you, you know, you, the, um, <laughs> the person watching, right? So this is you. So, um, yeah, interesting energy here. We have the eight of, we have the star. It's the only one upright. The star is about wishes, dreams, hopes. Um, somebody who's in the spotlight, somebody who could very much be in the spotlight, who goes through a lot every single day. Um, very creative here. The spider is very creative. So you may have a lot of creative projects and you may be very um, talented. Um, and that's something that um, your person really likes about you and what you really like about them. Uh, but right now I feel like the feminine wants her space. Okay, I feel like the feminine is on her own. She may be saying that there's also something coming through about this no. This no is not only like no, they no, didn't get a tarot reading about you. They're also defensive. They're almost like, even if I did, I don't want to tell you what it said because I am unable to acknowledge with this high priestess this intuition I know about our situation. I know you're right. If you told this person like we are twin flames or we are this or we are that and they have been like, no, we're not. And you're, you're like we are or they have just been kind of um you know they don't really understand it or they're not really sure or whatever confused because we've got a, i'm confused so somebody here could be confused about their situation um if it is you telling you know this is a message from you um to your person um when they're getting their reading you're telling them like it, that you may be confused and you may be not sure what to do right now you may be confused by all your feelings um, you may need direction right now, lost in space. So you may be looking for direction, looking for creative projects, um, trying to find your own way. You may need, you may have a path to follow that you can't, like you just need to go alone is what I'm feeling here. Uh, very much, and, and you're, it's not that you're telling your masculine like, bye, I'm leaving. Some of you, that's not even the case. But some of you, it's like, I have to get out. I have to go along my own path. I have to keep going. I need to fulfill my sp my spiritual duty with or without you. A lot of us have taken that role on and been like, okay, well, we're moving on without you. Eight of Cups is like that, moving on without you and travels here. And a cup upcoming trip proves to be life-changing in positive ways. Okay, so this person may come to this reading, um, uh, you know, your, your person's coming to this reading about you, and I'm telling them that, like, um, there's some type of trip that um, if they go on a trip, they may realize who their person is or they may look at the person they're with and be like, oh my God, this is not my person. Okay, and a lot of people come to that epiphany and some of them come to it so late and so long after they've spent so much time in the dark, right? The Eight of Cups reversed and the Sun reversed. That's darkness, that's unhappiness, that's sadness, that's depression. This is you walking away, being a star, being lovely, Look, looking amazing or um, looking handsome, looking fly, looking attractive, looking beautiful, looking just insanely good, okay? You look very good, right? You look super good. And your person knows that with Neptune here. Neptune is um, a very, very, gosh, I'm trying to get the word for it. It's like a mystical um, energy. It is dealing with emotions and feelings um, and being able to communicate your emotions and feelings. That's exactly what I'm feeling like is, is big in this pile. Like if you wanna get to your person, um, if you want to help communicate with your twin flame, it's going to have to come from an emotionally secure uh, way of expressing your emotions. So using air to, so logic, uh, sword energy to express water energy, expressing emotions. Um, communicating emotions in a way that the other person understands. Okay, so you guys may have different love languages. Right now that you could be, you guys, you guys could be wearing masks. We have mask right here. So this could be, again, your public persona versus your private persona or your person's public persona or their private persona, um, you know, is, is coming through here. And there's some type of mask here. So somebody could be wearing a mask. This is not really, like, this isn't somebody being, like, very open about the fact that they are a secret admirer or that they, um, you know, want to, you know, travel the world with you and all their feelings that they're having, especially if this is just like a new crush and you're just like, has my crush gone to tarot about me? You know, like just curious, right? 
So for the most of you, if it's a crush, I'd say no. If it's a twin flame, yeah, betcha they went to a, t a twin a tarot reader. I'm sure they did, okay? So, and even if they didn't, you know, because they're not into that or that's not the situation, um, what Spirit wants to tell them that uh, is figuring out whether their life, what their life goals are. Um, taking off this mask, um, trying to work through their ego issues and um, working through what this persona is. This person could work um, or be interested in theater or uh, be an actor or actress or be a star of some kind. The star is literally right here. Okay, Aquarius energy here. The sun is Leo. Um, the lovers is Gemini. Um, so we have two cards that talk about Gemini and talk about communication for sure. So, um, and this could be, you know, you guys may have just broken up and you want to know, like, you know, how do they see you? They see you as being the one that broke their heart with the ice queen here. If you were the one who ended things with them, um, if it was them, you went cold on them. Um, you may still feel this love for them. You may still want to express it. It may still come out, you know, when you, you know, you guys may still hook up or want to hook up or you guys, you know, still um, are drawn to each other in sexual ways. I feel like for this pile, for some of you, that is the case. There's a lot of love here, a lot of um, heart centered energy um, that your feminine or masculine feels for you. Um, the abundance is here. I'm a limitless being. And I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Yes. And one of the pieces of advice in the last reading, and I will bring it into this one because it is relevant to this same energy because I just did it today. Same day. You know, we've only just been maybe five or six hours apart. So, <laughs> so really what um, is com was coming through there that your person has the ability to speak things into, ma into manifestation, to bring things into, into manifestation. The star is able to manifest here, right here. Um, and to overcome all of the challenges that is they are being challenged to, okay? Um, and so th this is the thing, like whatever you speak for this connection, whatever you think about this connection will be, okay? So, uh, but this, ha this connection has a lot of potential with this abundance here, all right? Uh, this cat here very much tells me that um, your feminine is in this cat-like energy, energy or this masculine's in a, in a cat-like energy, um, that they are very uh, uh, stealthy, that they are being um, very independent here with um, the cat, and it talks about healthy boundaries. So this is something that you guys are learning in your situation. Maybe you guys are learning healthy boundaries within your connection between the two of you, especially within twin flame dynamics, it's good to establish healthy boundaries. Uh, but the, the feminine energy or the masculine energy here, um, the person that is watching the video right now, um, they are in a very, you know, independent boundary type place, or that's what they're learning right now. They're learning to have healthy boundaries, to be independent. I read something the other day and it was super helpful and I, I wonder if you guys would really would really like to know about this um, because it was, it was really interesting because it was like, if they don't call you, do something else. Uh, if they uh, forget plans with you, go, go do something for yourself. Make other plans, do other things and get out of this energy of always being um, at the mercy of everyone's um, uh, plans around us, that type of energy, because, um, you know, I, I had a, a guy that I was seeing and uh, very young, very immature and, uh, just could not, uh, keep, uh, like would, um, not respect someone else's time. Okay. And that, um, comes with, you know, age of course, but you know, I think they were at this point where they should have respected someone else's time and they shouldn't have played games and played around and messed around and, and acted a fool. Um, and they ended up, you know, we ended, we ended up, um, I ended up ending things. Um, and it was very painful for him. And, um, it, it was, it was like we broke, our, I had to break our hearts. Like it was horrible. Um, you know, just, just because he could not, I mean, there was more to it than that, but he just could not, um, respect people's time and he could not respect my time. And that was just like unacceptable to me. So that's the type of energy that I'm getting here. It's like, um, for you guys in this pile is that you have moved on, um, that you are moving in ways that, um, are fulfilling you and that you see as, you're creative, you're focusing on your creative projects, your independence, your boundaries, 
your direction and good for you and your abundance, okay? And if they're temporary, they're temporary, right? And there you go, there's that secret admirer. Like maybe this is just a temporary thing, but we'll see where it goes, right? Um, just kind of letting things be in flow and in flux and not trying to control things is what this feminine is trying to do. This feminine is stepping back into her power. So we have, I don't want to lose you. Okay. So your feminine or masculine, whoever you came to the video about when I'm giving this you know, message to them, like you, you don't want to lose them. Um, you may be very confused right now. Um, within the situation because we also have that I'm confused here that I mentioned earlier and so that's that energy of being stuck Okay, and so you're taking time out to figure out um, How to make a choice you could have a choice between two people you could have a choice between um, You know the person you came to the video about and someone else um, and you're trying to make that choice and I feel like that's what's what spirit is is helping you discern right now is and really right now you're choosing yourself and being the star of the show and being like yo come to me bro <laughs> you're like hey look how pretty i look or look how handsome i look or whatever and you are standing in your power and people see you as very beautiful as very heart-centered um they they see you as someone they'd want to be with okay they'd want to be like in a commitment with and they would want to you know um go on adventures with is what I'm getting here. So I want to tell you how I feel. So I feel like you want to tell this person how you feel. And maybe this is exactly with that Neptune energy that I was feeling here with the Mercury, telling them how you feel. If you feel love for this person, it's time to say it. Um, even if that person doesn't feel that way back for you, that is okay. Or if you have a secret crush on somebody, say it. I mean, life is short. You don't have every, you don't have tomorrow. It is not guaranteed. So remember that and live in that moment. And I feel like you are living in that. I feel like that's what you're here to tell your person with all these cards is how much you are trying to live in this moment. You want to travel. You need direction. Maybe you need some space. Okay. You're confused. Um, right now is not the time to make big actions with the ice queen here. Okay, so your feminine may be not, may be not communicating. You guys may not be in communication with the lover's reverse here as well. As well. So in the four of swords, somebody could just be needing some rest, needing some time to themselves, needing some self-care with the star here. We have kisses. So you're sending them kisses, especially if this is a twin flame dynamic or a crush. If this is not someone like that, you know, if it's not a romantic interest, it still is like that whole like, you know, where you, you know, kiss your girlfriends on the cheek or, you know, your, your guy friends on the cheek or, you know, that whole like, um, energy of like, of, you know, I, you know, I love saying you love that person, um, that you love them unconditionally too. Um, even if it's just a platonic type of situation, I get that as well. So, um, they want to send you that love. They want to send you that affection. Okay. This is the start of someone falling in love. And we have life goals. Be sure your life goals and lifestyle are congruent with your partners. Grow together or grow apart. So this is that energy of reevaluating. If if your your person is, if you're confu if you're confused, and we're telling your person that it could be because you're not sure if your goals and your morals and your values line up with your person's, and maybe you're not sure about that, and you're just trying to figure that out, okay? And you're trying to figure out like, is this something that um that we you know, that are we on the same path together, right? Um, is this, um, is this the path that you want to be on with these life goals? Okay. And is this with, and is, is it with this person? Does it align? Does it match? Have we changed? Have things changed? Have we had to go our separate ways? I feel like for some of you, you have had to go your separate ways and this is a separation. Uh, and you're currently in the process of trying to work through some confusion and some healing right now. So we have, I feel you inside me and it drives me insane with magnetism. Okay. This is the journey of love cards by Bridget Rao. She's amazing. So, um, I am feeling that energy as well, like very deeply, like you guys are very deeply connected. Um, so this could be that you have like a 5d connection. You may dream of this person with Neptune here. That's what I was trying to remember. Dreams. What is wrong with me? I'm a Pisces. Duh. So <laughs> I should know this. Um, I'm a Pisces Aries, but still it fits, right? So I am feeling that that's just that dreamy, loving, um, deep connection. 
Okay, you have a magnetism towards each other. You have the ability to almost like spin um, beautiful, uh, wor your words spin beautiful dreams um, like the spider web, okay? And it's it's very intricate and detailed and gorgeous and you have such beauty, you have such beauty um, that you're able to capture uh, within and to see in this connection. And you see a lot of that within this person. So there's a lot of sexual chemistry. You guys have a lot of sexual chemistry in this pile. Um, it drives you insane about this person. You guys very much are, you know, that you think about the sex here with the lover in the night and, and how it would be if you haven't been with this person. Um, you guys have a very deep connection already and you guys may already feel those, um, you know, te the tele telepathy or uh, things like that, or this this love that's starting to bloom or blossom or that is already there that you can't explain like a past life connection, um, especially with the twin flame dynamic. So um, it is very strong. Um, this person is very attracted to you. Uh, they are currently just kind of taking a step back. They do want to express their love to you. They love you unconditionally. They see a lot of abundance in this connection. They may acknowledge it for what it is, whether it's a twin flame or a soul, di soul to soul connection, soul dynamic, a high vibe twin flame, you know, high vibe soulmate or twin flame connection. Um, and they're possibly trying to find themselves right now and find their path. And uh, they're confused and they need some, they want to tell you how they feel. They want to tell you about how their confusion. They want to talk to you about what has been, has been bothering them and the things that have been going on with them, but they have. Um, maybe a hard time expressing that right now, but that is something that they are working through with the Mercury and the Neptune here. So Piscean energy and Gemini, heavy, heavy Gemini here um, as well. So um, I hope that, you know, this resonated and that you got something out of it. I think it was super interesting and I hope it made sense. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading, the link is down below. And if not, I'll see you for the next pick a card reading. Take care. All right, so if you picked pile number two, this lovely keychain, I'm not actually sure what the stone is. Please somebody tell me, because I'm very curious um, what it would be. It kind of looks like it has like some quartz inside of it, and then there's, um, yeah. I'm looking at it in the light here, see if I can see it. It's very interesting. Um, type of marble look to it which is gorgeous okay so anyways we're not going to get caught up on that if somebody knows please let me know because i don't actually know what that is um so thank you um in advance sweet so uh for pile number two let's find out um did your person get a tarot reading about you and if they did what did this tarot reading say um, very interesting. Um, so far I'm doing the best that I can <laughs> pile. Number one was a little bit difficult to, um, do. It's kind of a brand new reading. So I hope that, um, you guys like it. Um, at one point I am going to, um, express that I'm going to be speaking, um, to your person for their personal reading and giving them advice. Okay. I'm going to be speaking to, and I'll be calling them your person, um, you know, or, or talking to them about you know what that re what that reading would be like um, what or what that reading was that they got so um, you know what a reader would what advice they would give your person so but let's see I can't wait to show you guys all right a little bit of morning coffee you guys are my morning pile so congratulations we have yes so your person did get a tarot reading about you. Ooh, okay. So let's see what this tarot reading said. <clears throat> okay. All right. Well, heavy message coming out from the very beginning. I feel like this connection is very faded. It has a very dreamy, um, it has a dreamy feel to it. There's a lot of, there's a lot of information for you guys. That's really interesting. So one of the biggest things that I noticed as I was pulling your cards, um, that came through, uh, um, <laughs> woo, to tell, now I'm going to be speaking to your person. Listen, um, there needs to be some type of forgiveness here. 
Um, spirit is heavily weighing on forgiveness, okay? And, you know, obviously you don't have to forgive this person if you don't want to. I'm not saying, you know, that um, Spirit is saying, like, you have to in order to blah, blah, blah. No, you know, of course not. A reading is not like that. It's not meant to be like that. Um, but what Spirit is saying is that um, in order to repair this, there has to be some type of forgiveness. Okay, so um, holding on to the past um, is only going to cause probably more pain in this connection or has already um, caused a lot of pain in this dynamic. Okay. So, um, yeah, yeah, I, I feel that very strongly here. Um, and we get forgiveness like multiple times throughout this reading and it's very off balance. Like I could do more cards here, so I may keep pulling for you guys. It feels like I'm a little empty. There might be more that's needed, but just know that forgiveness is here. And the reason why is the eight of swords here. Somebody really wants your forgiveness or you, um, the, you know, your, your person really wants, um, yeah, they want you to make the effort to, to come towards them, to have some type of understanding about where they were coming from for the situation and why it was, you know, why they did what they did or said what they said. Okay. Um, I'm not saying it was right at all. And I'm not saying that there's, um, you know, that, um, understanding that we have to, that some things aren't, you know, you can forgive somebody and not have them back in your life. Totally. But, um, what I'm feeling like is either you or your person, you need forgiveness, um, for something. Okay. Because we have forgiveness, forgiveness. And as the cards were pull, being pulled, some of the cards that had fallen with others that I didn't take, that was, you know, like too much and up, you know, that fell out of the deck, right? It fell out with forgiveness and that's no mistake. Usually if something is like that, spirit is really, really, really honing in. We've got three, you had three different decks that said forgiveness for you guys. Look, forgiveness, number 49 could be specific. Number 45, forgiveness. And it says repairing the veil. Okay, so what spirit is saying is that when you forgive this person, you repair the other side, you repair the veil, the, the um, I'm not saying that people can't see it anymore. Um, what I'm talking about is you repair any type of rifts, any type of past life karma that you've had with this person. You repair um, uh, like childhood wounds and you repair trauma and you repair something, okay? Um, and Spirit is really trying to get you to, to do this to come forward, to ask for forgiveness here. Because look, we have so many cards that lead up to um, this energy. We have the death card reversed, okay? So this is refusing to, um, you know, I feel like <clears throat> one of you has put this to an end, okay? I feel like it is the feminine or whoever, um, Whoever is the feminine in the situation that you really tried with this person, um, you are the high priestess. Uh, your person sees you as very, very intuitive and that you may be a tarot card reader or a psychic or a medium or um, all of those things. So um, you may practice um, spell work and things like that. This person may be going to someone about you. They did. They went to a high priestess about about you. If they went to about you if you're a masculine or if you're a feminine. It doesn't matter. Um, you as the person watching. <clears throat> oh, goodness. This is interesting. Man. And that tarot reader said that, you know, that um, this shift in love with the death card and the knight of cups reverse, which is like, this is like holding back emotions. Um, this could physically be be like this tarot reader expressed that this person was going through possible health issues or <clears throat> their child was going through health issues. Okay. So they ha may have told your person that you were going through some really rough things. Um, and that you also have like this ability because you're here. Um, and usually most people who are on YouTube are drawn to tarot readings or things like that. Um, there is a large portion of you that are being called to become those readers, to learn from me, to learn from all the great readers on here. And, um, 
You know, the other day, um, this reader that I follow, she does a lot of live readings. Well, I follow her, but I follow her, you know, personally, and I don't, you know, um, allow, you know, my business to be, <clears throat> I don't comment on a lot of things, and I don't try to, and I don't try to, um, you know, make myself known, um, you know, that I'm, you know, watching, not, be, not because I'm, like, going to take anybody's ideas, you know, obviously, we're all here to um, level up and teach each other and educate, and so um, I, I'll get to my point here, I promise. But um, I always click on, um, I accidentally always click on her live ones as they're happening because they come up on my phone and they alert me. And I'm just uh, a clicker. I just touched that. <laughs> I was just like, here, so here it is. It's on my phone. and did a click. What's up? Is it there? Like, I, I'm sure that there are many times they've been like, Alicia, stop clicking. What are you doing? Don't touch that. No. And I'm like, yeah. Oops, too late. Like, just, yeah, okay. It's the OCD in me. There's lots of things, <laughs> you know, that that is about. But, um... But I think that at one point she was like, she saw that I came in and went out. And as I was coming in, she's like, now we got people that are, you know, we've got spies or, you know, something, you know, like page of swords type of energy from, you know, and I, and I knew she was referring to me and it's because of my name pops up and it pops up with my business name. Um, and I'm not trying to put my business name, uh, you know, for my personal readings when I'm listening and stuff like that. So I really need to just use a different account. And that's fine. Um, but uh, it was like, it, it was very judgmental. And it was almost like, wow, are you, you know, do you not think that other readers would, you know, I would be honored if somebody popped up on my screen and was, you know, something, something, you know, was, you know, I'm twisted, twisted tarot. So, <clears throat> excuse me, when I come up, you know, of course. You know, it's a very um, intense name. So I am feeling that, um, you know, in the community that it can be, it can be rough, you know, but you're be, if there, you know, and you can be like, oh, there's too many tarot readers. There's no room for me. Are you kidding me? Every single tarot reader on here has something to give and they're all unique. Okay. And they're all wonderful and they all have their own style. Okay. And a lot of us have been, you know, we're OG. Um, I learned from some of the best because um, when I came into this scene, it was very fresh and new and not a lot of readers were on here. And so we've grown now, but it's only because when I see someone around me who has the same gifts as me or may have the same talents, I give them a deck. And if they use that deck for themselves, great. If they use it for other people, if they, however they want to, however they want to use that gift. And even if they don't, that's okay too. But I've never had anybody who didn't because I knew my spiritual community and I could see something in someone else and be like, you have that gift and here you go because I want you to be a reader too. I'm not threatened by other readers, not at all. Um, if anything, I'm, I'm humbled when, you know, and I, and I love learning and seeing what you guys are doing because we're, we're here to help each other. We're here to teach each other. So I'll get off my soapbox there, but you see where I'm going with this. Um, and I feel like um, with this novice coming out here, this is this is your your person's energy and, and also your energy as the viewer watching. Um, and it says innocence, beginner, ignorance, new skill without practice, unstable curiosity, and it's the number five. And so it's a really uh, transitional number. It's about change. Um, a lot of things shift with fives. Um, I don't particularly like fives. Um, everybody knows my situation with fives. Um, I do like them, but I don't like them. I have a love-hate relationship with fives because fives can either be really great for me or super bad. <laughs> there is no end between, okay? So, anyways. so that's where your person's at, okay? They're a novice, okay? They may be a novice at learning how to forgive. A lot of this is forgiving yourself. Your person needs to forgive themselves for the things they did. Because they may have done some really shitty things with the Knight of Cups reversed here. Okay, They may have shown not shown their love. May have gone to readers and and the reader was like, yeah, this is your high priestess. And this king of pentacles is all, ha, ha, and like runs away, right? Like runner, chaser, dynamic type of thing. Or it's just like, mm-hmm, okay, all right. And then it puts them straight into anxiety. So they're cool as a cucumber on the outside, but they're, Busting with this eight of swords feeling trapped on the inside, right? Cool. So, <laughs> um, so your person, I would tell them, I would be like, okay, so obviously you are 
um, you've gotten a reading before this has, um, or you know that this is your high priestess and, and she or he reads and, oh, no, I know what I, I know what I forgot, you guys. I'm with it. They see you as highly intuitive. You could be a water sign. Knight of Cups, they could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. King of Pentacles is Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have some other signs here, and I'll, I'll get to those in a minute here. So, but this doesn't have to be. This is just the energy as well. <clears throat> okay, this is someone who's very grounded, very stable. Um, he's smoking a pipe, but he's also one who's willing to learn about this, but it may cause him a little bit of stress. Um, it may um, stress this person out, what you do for a living or the fact that you have these powers. It's like you're very powerful. The high priestess is right next to that king of pentacles. Like if, even if I hadn't gotten a yes here for you guys' this pile, um, and maybe there was just like split energy where some were and some, you know, some picked this pile and some was a yes and some was a no. I would have known, known immediately with the high priestess here that the reading had, you know, that you, the reading was here. It's possible that you gave your person a uh, reading too. So I am getting that for some of you. That's very interesting. Uh, what I am, uh, want, also want to say um, about this connection is it is a soulmate connection. So what, what that tarot reader told your person is that this is a soulmate connection, that there could be some forgiveness blocking it. Somebody's moon could be in Sagittarius. Their moon could be in Aries. We have the moon card. We have Luna here. Gosh, so beautiful. That's the divine feminine. Okay, so for some of you, um, your person that I'm that I'd be talking to is a divine feminine. Okay. Man, look at that. All right, Sagittarius. If I didn't hold that up, I apologize. Aries. So it's very fiery, very passionate, very um, intense energy. I feel like if you're, you could be dealing with a Sag and an Aries, and there's a lot of secrets. The moon is here. There's a lot. You guys have a very, very, very telepathic connection. And what Spirit is saying is that this requires a new beginning, a new beginning, a new start, okay, within this connection. That um, what they're hoping for is, is um, what Spirit is hoping um, for, like you as, as the person watching and what spirit is saying is that there could be a new beginning with forgiveness there absolutely could be a new beginning um this king of pentacles would have to figure out how to forgive okay so i'm, I'm getting that or one of you fig is figuring out how to forgive the other um in order to have this new beginning it's almost like okay you could have this if you forgive each other or what's whatever you guys did okay whatever happened you know because there's definitely something that happened with the Eight of Swords. That's feeling trapped. That's feeling anxiety. Feeling stress. Um, waking up at night. So, uh, yeah. So, I would tell your person at this reading, you know, that um, this is keeping, um, keeping uh, you up at night, you know. Um, and this would have to take place uh, the lady of the mirror so you guys mirror each other possibly especially with the soulmate energy that we are getting up there um and this deep uh moon energy that's here you know you guys may be really uh you know you may track your period to make it your period by the full moon if you're a feminine watching um i'll be telling them that okay um what came out but didn't actually stay we have our love languages are different okay all right so um even if you guys are in like a period of no contact or separation or you're going through a transition we have i was wrong um yeah so somebody in this connection knows that they're wrong and they might need to ask for forgiveness and it is almost like with that knight of cups it's also it's like spirit is pulling this apology out of them um down like because it, it's it's like divinely guided okay your person's being divinely guided or being or they were in the reading to have some type of non-judgment here number 44 is coming up um that's all about balance here and reflection so you guys may see reflection in each other you may both need to be like i'm so sorry i'm such an idiot um i'm you know i'm so sorry for hurting you you know that type of energy um, is what I'm getting here in order to have this new beginning because it so badly wants to start for you. Um, there's this 
idea or, or uh, <laughs> there's something here about being possessive, mine, possessiveness. We have that card. So, yeah, this person, this king of pentacles, um, you know, you feel possessive over your person. They feel possessive over you. Like, I feel very, very balanced energy coming through between the two of you. You feel the same about each other. You do. There's so much passion here. Look at this. And it's off the charts coming through here. There's so much sexual chemistry between the two of you if this is a sexual energy. Um, yeah. It's just like, whew. Um, they may have gone to a to this tarot reader to find out if you were in a relationship and if you were happy. Yeah, they may have tried to figure out what your your uh, status was, like your relationship status. If they can't see you on on Facebook, if they're blocked, they could have gone to the reader to try and figure out some things about your love life. Yeah, and this could just be like a friend or family member that you're asking about. And there's something here that you guys that would need. Um, some repairing okay uh, about your relationship and that's what I would tell them I'd be like something needs to be uh, repaired we have I left you before you could leave me okay so whatever the situation was maybe somebody decided you know that they um, that they have abandonment issues which is usually what comes through here and attachment issues and so they were probably like anxious avoidant or something along those lines you guys can look those up um, see what I'm talking about if you're not familiar um, with the psychological terms um, for most of you you do know what I'm talking about though um, and you understand that there are different attachment styles and this person was like they left you be before you could leave them because they had a feeling that <clears throat> that would happen they had a feeling that they had to run first possibly I do feel that energy of somebody like trying to get out of here like even in the reading they're like okay hurry 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 we want to be done we don't want you to tell our secrets but there's a lot of illusions, a lot of um, mystery, a lot of things that are not clear with this moon card here. A lot of things that would still need to be um, expressed. This is the reflection. I do feel that very strongly when it comes down to the moon being a very reflective energy. Like when it reflects down onto the water and you can see it in it. And it's a reflection of itself. It's so beautiful in it. And you can see that out, you know, with the Lady of the Mirror. So you may be doing mirror spells i'm not saying do those please i'm just saying like that you could that your person may have been given like a mirror spell um they may have sent like karma karma back to you with this um energy or you may have realized that they were tapping into your energy okay what really is needed in order for this so-called forgiveness that's coming through here you know, I, I know you, you guys are probably going to be like, God, that's just, some of you are going to be irritated with that. And I understand, um, you know, I'm not saying, again, I'm not saying what was done is, is okay. All right. And you know, somebody leaving you, we have escape artists. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see that. I left you before you could leave me. Look at this. Okay. This is what I was feeling. This is that person who's like, when things get real, when shit gets real, they're like, boop out. Okay. Gotta go. May sabotage and to avoid hurt, afraid to be loved, still looking um, it says don't run when it gets real. Okay. Yes. Somebody uh, running away. Okay. So somebody may have sabotaged the connection and feeling like it's probably, you know, the person that I'm reading, you know, that I'm giving this reading for this King of Pentacles or this person, you know, that, that got the reading on you, you know, they really needed to know that like this person was, was very much tr sabotaging. They were trying to end the connection because they were afraid to be loved. Um, they may have still needed to go out and see the world and experience new things and have new beginnings. Okay, that could also be it with the Knight of Cups. That's a little immature energy, somebody who's not ready to settle down. So that could have been the case and somebody was trying to escape. They felt safer running, okay? So, and that usually is the case in a lot of um, very intense relationships, soul connections. Okay, so this says, I'm sure this was all meant to be, yeah, faded. So they do believe that this situation was meant to be um, and that all the things that you have gone through, the thing, the, the need for the forgiveness um, and what happened within your connection, whatever that was, it's going to be different for everybody. But this disappointment and love that they're like, okay, well, excuse me, I'm sure this was meant to be that eventually we will be able to fix this and have this new beginning because that's what you so desperately want here. Uh, 
Yeah, so we have um, this idea of this island here. This is an island, um, number 57. And it says, foreign affairs, solo, isolation, standoffish, separation, estranged, lonely, and spread out. So uh, what the tarot reader also told your person is that um, this person may have caused the separation, you being um, the one watching, um, because of the self-sabotaging behavior. I'm just saying that for some of you, that's the case. Not all of you, and don't come after me. It's just the way that it's coming through. I'm not judging. I am an, an escape artist myself, okay? My attachment style is um, disorganized, so that should help you understand me a lot. <laughs> so just know I understand, okay? So I'm on this journey with you as well. So when I would tell this to all my girlfriends, all the people I give personal readings to, you know, I would, this is the advice that I would give anybody in my circle, okay? This is how I would tell them. And they would, you know, and they know that I'm, I'm doing it because I love you. Like, and I give you this advice because I care about you guys, because I love you guys, because I want you to be, um, I want you to know the truth, okay? I'm not going to lie to you guys. So... We have a lot of lonely uh, lonely energy here, okay? So somebody could be feeling very lonely. Um, so what I would tell your person is, um, this person feels this separation. They feel lonely. Um, they're hoping uh, for like a reconciliation here. We have head of the pack, okay? So what I do see also as well, and I would express this to your person is, that you are the head of the pack. You are successful, you are um, in the lead, you like to be first, you um, have a will to win, um, you are very good at what you do, and so um, you're able to get things done. You could possibly work in foreign affairs um, or you know, some, you know, at some pre prestigious company or be very successful. Um, this is also somebody who is the head of their like uh, friend group or, or like the pack, their pack of people, um, and they tend to be leaders and they are very driven okay and i would tell tell that to your person um this is also about there could be some competition in the mix here there could be competition for you competition for your person um but this is you knowing that you will finish first okay and um that you come first that this is like number one with the new beginnings okay so i feel like for someone here like you're like you're my person you're the one like you know there is nobody above you okay and this um, is number six here with the fate with faded. So that's all. You have a lot of sixes. You have fifty one over there, which boils down to six. Holy crap! You have a lot of sixes. Okay, six, six, six. And no, it's not about the devil energy. So please go look that up. Um, that does have a significance here. This also talks about past life. Okay, to me, something that was faded, something that was meant to be. This is soulmate energy. This is very um, karmic energy. So this was meant to happen. So whatever happened in your connection, I know you're like, well, I have, you know, free will to change. Yes, you absolutely do. But it was almost like you guys were meant to go through these lessons. Okay. And this was all meant to be. Okay. So it says this taught us our lessons, our blessings. And so this is something that you would want to tell your person. You'd be like, okay, well, I'm sure this is a lesson that we were both meant to learn. It could have been really, really difficult. Okay, it doesn't feel good, all right? It feels like, ah, but it has helped you guys focus on service. And they're saying if you feel nervous with this Eight of Swords, focus on service. Focus on being of service to someone else, being kind, being loving, being good to other people. And this is what I would tell your person. This would say, this would say, like, listen, you have a divine purpose. You may be very new at it. You may think there's no room for you or what can I bring to this, but you have something, okay? You have something, um, your person has something, um, you could very well be, you know, talking, I could very well be talking to two, um, high, a high priest and a high priestess, okay? This king of pentacles, king of pentacles is a businessman. King of pentacles is a nice dresser, okay? King of pentacles has a nice beard, okay? You know what I'm saying, ladies? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm thinking about, right? I think that that's probably what you like about your person. You're like, oh, your beard is so sexy. Like, what is that Kesha song? She's like, I like your beard at the end. Oh my God, so funny. You guys have to listen to her. She's, um, yeah, she's old school for sure. Um, that poor girl in the industry. Can you believe that? Anyways, oh, awful, right? 
Um, but it's like boss energy is what I'm getting here. You got boss energy, okay? Boss up, be a man, ask for forgiveness, see where it could take you. Because it says for this person to give your relationship a chance. So spirit is like, yo, what are you doing? Stop running. Get, why, are you, why are you out the window? <laughs> why you escape? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, and they want your person to like figure that out, right? Okay, so work on your partnership. Okay, so spirit is saying work on it, okay? This could be many options right now. So this could be blocking your partnership, okay? There could be a lot of options around. We have many options, decision, unconventional, string along, and a one-night stand, okay? So maybe this was like, you know, just a one-night stand that turned into something more or you weren't sure that that's what it was meant to be, but that's what kind of came out here. You know, it's kind of that um, energy of that. Maybe your person wants forgiveness because they came in and came out like a knight of wands and then... You know, that maybe that's exactly what happened and um, that could have taken place. So I, you know, they could want forgiveness for that. They could want forgiveness for the way that they treated you with the Knight of Cups and the Death card, okay? Um, this is something about like, um, they could, somebody could have done like a love spell or had, or uh, tried to, uh, what, am I, what am I saying here? Um, so this high priestess could have talked about love spells or could have, um, given a love spell or done a love spell at the same time with this King of Pentacles. Um, I'm also feeling that this high priestess, like the, the reader that they went to may have helped them break like ties, like old ties. Like, um, and there could have been some, some spell work done to kind of cut cords and things like that, or to kind of, um, to, uh, to interfere with someone's, uh, <laughs> I'm getting someone's love life. Like, I know that sounds just way out there, but, um, I am giving, getting for some of you, they may have given your person information on how to do that. All right. Or your person learned about those things. Um, when they went to the tarot reader, okay. They learned about your life. They learned about your love life. They learned about like what you were up to. Okay. They got a little peek into your little, your situation. Yeah. Okay, so we have, I wish things were different. So this person wishes that things were different between you two, that they, that things um, could be repaired, that there could be some forgiveness, that they, that they would feel no longer trapped in their thoughts about you because they think about you constantly, constantly, okay? You are always on their mind. You're not far from their mind, okay? And they think about this tarot reading all the time or they think about the fact that you're a tarot reader, okay? They may have even watched your own videos um, from you to get a reading about you guys, which is insane and really cool. And if you did that, then bravo. And if you're here doing that now, then I see you. Trust me, I know. I'm that high priestess, okay? So we see all. It's almost like trying to get over on a high priestess. I just find that to just be like baffling. It's like, um, I don't know why you waste your time lying or doing the things you do or being stupid because we're gonna find out, okay? We will find out, okay? <laughs> Um, we have, I use humor to hide my pain. So, um, one of the messages to your person I would tell them is that, um, you know, you use humor to, you may use humor to hide your pain. Um, and so this could be where this eight of swords is, is this person may use a lot of humor, but really this is what, where they're at. This is how stressed out they are. This is how much, uh, anxiety and fear and stress they feel, um, within themselves. And this feels like self punishment. Like they may be punishing themselves for being unable to get out of their ego or to be non-judgmental. Okay. And they're trying to get into that space. It's almost like the eight of swords is saying like, how can we get out? If we can get out of the space, how can, and how can we get out? Because this person is, you know, she looks like she's actually tied up from her hands behind her. I can't see for sure. Her, her, she has, her eyes are, have also been, um, have been covered. And then there's the swords, but she can walk out of there. Like she still could walk out of there. Okay. So it's not hopeless. Okay. This forgiveness is really what brings like your person. Like if your person, if I'm speaking to your person and I'm telling them like, you know, if you're the one having the nightmares, it's one of you, one of you two, obviously one of you two are having some, some nightmares or dreams or things like that. Like about the situation it's because spirit is like pushing your person to or you to get into this non-judgmental energy walk out of your own self prison 
and free yourself from this and repair this veil with this person. Repair it because it's meant to be repaired. Okay, Spirit is saying that. Okay, Nine of Swords, jeez. Okay, so we go even further. Okay, that Eight of Swords goes from the Eight to the Nine. Again, this is what I was saying. This is being up at night. This is being plagued. This is being tormented. This is overthinking. Okay, this is so much mental energy with this King of Pentacles. This is probably why this person is an escape artist. Three of Wands reverse. That's usually waiting for your ships to come in. This is thinking that your ships are not going to come in. Okay, this is this person can't see out here, and it's foggy and dark, okay, in this in this uh, card because it's a steampunk tarot. So, yeah, it's just really yeah, okay, because they need to walk away um, from something that doesn't serve them. Look at this. They need to walk away from, from all of these um, thoughts and get into a space of being in a, in a relationship where the twin flame union, basically, with this 1111 card, which is the four of wands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and if this person um, is, is they're trying to move on, okay, they're trying to have their ships come in, and if they feel like their ships cannot come in, um, in love here, they're, um, it's because that maybe they walked into um, another connection here with that four of wands here, um, and they, they left, okay? And they may have left you for someone else. That's super sad and super horrible, and I am so sorry. If that's exactly what happened, oh, bless this person's heart because when they come back, woo! Yeah, oh my, oh my, because I feel they're coming back, okay? They're coming back with this eight of cups to the four of wands. Okay, if they didn't leave you for another connection or try to go into another connection, where I'm pretty sure they're, you know, if they went to another connection, are they happy? Nine of swords, nine of wands. Have to put their defenses down, okay? Yeah, there could be a third party situation. Three of cups and judgment. Oh my goodness. Nine of wands reversed. Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Three of Cups, and Judgment, and we have Four of Pentacles reversed at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so what I am feeling for here is there's a possibility that there is a lot of uh, or partying going on. It's a, the action could be to just party, um, although Spirit is saying reunite here is what I'm getting more than anything. Because um, if your person went into another connection, um, it doesn't show that they're even, um, they're not giving information about whether they're happy or not. They're showing that they're, you know, obviously celebrating, which would mean happiness. That's good with the Three of Cups and judgment here. But this is also harshly being harshly judged. It's almost like Spirit is saying, like, make this right, okay? For any, for most of you, I feel like it's they didn't go to somewhere else. They didn't leave for another connection. Um, what they what they did is they walked away, and then they realized that this is where they wanted to be was with you. Um, and then they wanted to reunite with you. They want to make this effort to come back together to celebrate with you. Okay. And to show you what they've learned with this judgment card. Okay. And judgment is a very big awakening here. And they're being called to awaken to their higher purpose. Look at this person. There's music right here. Um, there's like a, a plane. And this woman looks very worried like they're getting into a plane. Um, and it's possible maybe they're worried about like, um, you know, traveling, um, like that, that could be one of the things that's coming through here that it, it could be, it's like wondering, you know, spirit may be judging your connection and being like up above and like pushing both of you to kind of get it together is what I'm getting. Okay. And come back around to this understanding of, oh my God, this is my person. This is where I'm supposed to take the action. Now it's time to take action. It's time to put down your guard. This Knight of Swords goes after what it wants to re reconcile and come back together. So I do feel like this is something that will happen for most of you that, or you're being called to come back together, okay? To repair the veil, okay? And to focus on this service. Okay, remember, if you're feeling nervous, get the Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, and you're like, ah, I can't, okay? Focus on service says, your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. Yeah, because that's how beautiful things come to us is when we're in service and how we're, we can become service to someone else. We can become a novice and learn 
um, and take courses and classes and learn about life. And we're, you know, this is that energy of like, okay, whatever, whatever's going on in your life, um, try and focus on being of service to someone else because that always makes you feel good, right? Doesn't it feel, most of us, it makes us feel good when we are doing things for others. And, you know, it's, it's a way to also, um, not, not, be, not because we need to feel good, but also like a sense of purpose. Okay. And when you have a sense of purpose, you have the will to live and you are, you know, out of this, you're trying to get out of these thought, these thought based, um, overthinking and, um, all these swords, you got a lot of swords here. Okay. One, two, three, you know, that coming through just like very, very strongly, um, for you and your person. This is why that escape artist is here is probably because of all these swords. Okay. All this, all this mental energy that just is spinning your person out of control and they're like, ah, I just want this new beginning. I just want this forgiveness. Okay. Um, so, and they may come around and be asking for that forgiveness. Now it's up to you. It says with this four of pentacles, I feel like it's a, obviously they're saying to me, um, intuitively that it's up to you if you want to accept that. Um, it doesn't mean you have to have that person in your life. Of course, um, there could be a conversation and you guys go about your separate ways and you live your happy lives, right? Okay. Or you try, you know, and, and you know, everything happens for a reason. I do believe that. Um, and up here, you know, this is really strongly coming through for your person to, to tell your person, I'm sure this was all meant to be. So all of this was meant to be, um, getting that reading was meant to be. Um, hopefully that reading was very helpful and it helped you guys understand your situation. Um, they do see you as theirs. Okay. With this possessiveness card, mind possessiveness, you see them as, as yours as well. So it's like, nope, you're mine. <laughs> very, very possessive energy, probably because you have Aries and Sagittarius here. They like to be like, that's mine. <laughs> that's mine. <laughs> um, all right, guys. So I hope this resonated. If you like a personal reading, the link is down below. Um, if not, I will see you for the next pick a card reading. Take care. Okay. Pile number three. If you chose this beautiful headdress, it's very beat up and old and worn, but still beautiful and wonderful. Um, so let's find out, um, did your person get a tarot reading about you? Um, and if they did, what did the reading say? If not, um, what would I say about them or to them? Um, so this was a little confusing between the files. I, I thought maybe you, I hope you guys didn't feel confused. I tried my best to do this reading. I thought it was going to be a little but easier than it was. So, um, it, kudos to the reader, um, that I listened to that really did this really well. And I, gosh, I can't remember her name. Um, I want to say, um, empath oasis or, um, who else? Um, popular loner. Uh, both of those channels are really good. So if you guys are looking for a reader, um, and you like my channel, um, I pop in on them every once in a while, kind of see what they're up to and, um, I just think that they are just amazing readers. So check them out. And um, so yeah, pile number three. Let's see. Did your person have a tarot reading on you? We have no. So for the majority of you here, the answer actually is no. So they did not have um, a uh, reading on you. Okay. It's not to say that that's all of you, okay? So, but the majority of the answer is no, they did not do a tarot reading on you. Um, and we'll get into um, what I would say though, like to your person. So um, from here on out, you know, I'll be talking to your person. Now, you probably were drawn to multiple piles. You may be still watching from the other pile. So I feel like pile two, because we have some of the similar, same similar cards here same similar cards. What's wrong with me? I can't talk today. Oh my gosh. Is Mercury in retrograde? Somebody please let me know. Ooh. Okay. So yeah, you have similar cards as pile number two. So you may have been drawn to multiple piles. So if you were, um, check those out. So let's, oh, I'm so sorry. As I was putting out the cards here and talking to y'all, um, my camera ran out of spice. Okay, so I had to add more. I apologize for that. So, um, let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so for some of you, um, your person wants to tell you right off, off the bat um, 
that they feel like a deep spiritual connection to you and that they, you know, wish you would show up for them with chivalry. If you have shown up to your, your person with chivalry or in any way, shape or form, I feel like this doesn't have to be a masculine or feminine energy that I'm talking about. I'm saying, you know, all energies are able to be chivalrous with each other. I feel like, um, you know, one of the things that I personally believe in, you know, I, this is just my personal belief, is that relationships should be as balanced as possible and that we all should be giving um, the same things to our partners. So when it comes down to Valentine's Day, getting at, partners exchanging gifts, um, that it not being just a one-sided holiday or just for um, women, um, I don't believe in, in that at all. I feel like the gender equality should be, ooh, these are backwards. Um, um, but maybe that's, that's on purpose. Okay. We're going to just keep it. Okay. So, uh, and I'll know. Um, so yeah, now I'm, again, I'm speaking to your person, not to, not to you guys. <laughs> I mean, obviously I'm going to add you in the conversation because you're here because it'd be weird if I didn't. But, um, really what I would tell your person is that, um, there has been a sudden, sudden unexpected change in this relationship. Things have actually shifted. Um, the feminine is now looking to, um, kind of um, acknowledge the deception in this connection. There's deception here. So the feminine is actually willing to be like, okay, I'm not, I'm not willing to hide this deception anymore from, so it could be a, your, your, um, it could be that you're, if you're the feminine uh, watching that your masculine has been in a lot of decept deceptive energy. Okay. And they haven't been very chivalrous. And if they were, that you would forgive them, possibly. That is a possibility here. We have um, chivalry right here. And this man has a mustache. Your person could have a mustache or a beard or some facial hair. You might think that's very hot. Um, if you're asking about a masculine, you're asking about a feminine. Um, I'm getting blonde hair, possibly curly. Um, yeah. Uh, rabbits. Somebody could own a rabbit here. But we have forgiveness on this card. And horses. Horses are coming through. Okay. So this is like the Knight of Cups energy, you know, so um, this is uh, what your person wants to, to tell you. Um, they are sure that this this was all meant to be, that this was kind of orchestrated for you guys, um, that it had to kind of be like this, okay, um, for everything to kind of work out this way. We have, I'm sure this was all meant to be, and it says, it's the number six, it says faded. So talk sixes talk about um, past life um, connections, they talk about reconciliation, so it's kind of like coming back together. Like you guys know that this was fated to happen. Okay. And so you're, you're just like, okay, well, I understand that. Um, but you know, I'm moving on with my life, getting into a more joyous phase. Okay. Joy is here. Okay. So you're asking about, you know, um, your person that's coming to this reading that you're coming to this reading for, excuse me, um, would be asking about you. So what I see is that you're in a very independent energy and you're not about the bullshit with this scythe. That you will cut out anything that does not bring you joy. Okay. And that you may be suffering with some um, depression right now. Um, this could be over the situation. Like uh, the sun is reversed here. Okay. So something's being hidden from you. Um, this could be self-deception. This could be like, okay, well, I'm not really willing to look at myself. But spirit is like, okay, but you have to. Like we're all here to grow. And that's what my channel is here to do. My channel is to, is to help you grow. It's not to pad you along your way and give you a bunch of bullshit and let you guys be like, Oh, he's going to come back to me. He loves me. And, and we're going to, and we're going to live happily ever after. Oh my God. Relationships are way more complicated than that. And I'm here to help you. Um, I'm here to help you grow and your person grow. And what I would tell your person is that right now you're trying to get away from this energy. Like you're trying to move out of this seven of swords here. So whatever conflict has happened, whatever you have gone through, um, there is some type of forgiveness here that you're doing for yourself. Possibly you're, you know, you're, you're the person that is watching this. Um, you are doing that for yourself. Okay. So you're taking care of yourself and you're not putting up with any nonsense anymore with this five of cups reversed. You're like, nah, I don't want to be in this energy anymore. You're tired of being in this energy. This energy is tired. This energy is anxious. This energy is up at night. This energy wants to, um, break free of this deception. Okay. Um, you want a new start with this rebirth here, um, with this person. So you would say like, I want a new start. I feel like there could be a new start, but there is some type of block here. We have Venus reversed. 
which um, could be Libra or Taurus. Um, that is about love, obviously. So Venus is a goddess of love. So while they find you very attractive, they may think that you use your body. This is just from them, not from me. They think that your body, um, you may use your body um, to attract other people. It's like this mystery around you with Neptune here. This is that Piscean energy and they and you draw them in like a siren. But there's some type of deception possibly that took place here, whether it was on your end or your person's end. Um, this could have been about another person. We have the Princess of Swords here. And we have the Queen of Water. Okay, so Princess of Swords is Air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, Princess of Water, specifically on this card, is Scorpio, but it could be Cancer or Pisces. Um, the Sun is Leo. Um, they could have Leo in their, in their chart. So, or Pisces um, is also here with Neptune. Okay, so like double water. A lot of mystery, a lot of mysticism, a lot of, um, a lot of, shadow energy moon energy is what i'm getting here with the sun it's almost like the sun is down the moon is out you know and things may be done um at night with the princess of swords and the sun being reversed there's there's something to do with um harsh words that come through harsh words that are being said words that are necessary somebody may be denying your connection this is what i'm getting very strongly within your dynamic and i would tell your person if it's them wake up like what are you doing like you're not seeing something clearly. You're not seeing through this. You're not seeing that there could be a rebirth. There's a realization that your person has come to about a situation and they're trying to see if this is worth investing in anymore. If this deception um, is going to continue, if they're still going to be stuck in that um, uh, moon energy. We have the seven of pentacles and look, the sun is out and she's like checking her harvest at night though. Okay, so whatever's fruit coming to fruition this person may be doing spell work. Um, this Princess of Swords, especially if it's an air sign, they may be doing spell work on your person. Okay, maybe to get them out of their depression. You know, I mean, good for them, you know. So, and that could be, that could be what's going on is I'm saying like your, your person is in you guys, the viewer, you may be doing some spell work to help them, but you also may be putting up some really strict boundaries with the Princess of Swords here. I feel like this person is kind of that energy. It's like the Page of Swords. So it's a very young energy. So a communi the communication maybe um, that took place between you guys could have been sharp, could have been cutting. It could have really left some damage on, on this connection. The, it's like the sun went down, okay? We have, I'm terrified of getting hurt, okay? So your person wants um, what you would like to say to your person um, is that you're terrified of getting hurt in this connection possibly and it could be because you've been deceived in the past and this is where that energy is coming in and you're like no more um this is very telepathic connection here we have the elephant here which talks about dreams power wise energy old soul type of energy so and there's a baby here so there could be children involved in your situation for some of you that's the case your person could have a child and they may want to, um, they may communicate with you through the spirit world through, um, I feel like your grandmother and grandfather really, really come through very strongly for you in your dreams. Um, or you may dream about a feminine, especially if you lost your mother at a young age. I'm also getting that for someone that someone has, um, your person has lost their mother and they dream about them in their dreams. Um, this is, was a, what could have been sudden. It could have been an accident. It could have been very unexpected, but there's some type of shock, surprise, or ending in this connection. Okay. This could be your person needing to end something with, um, a, like with someone here. We have the guarded heart and engagement ring. Okay. So, um, currently this could be what, um, what your person, um, what you being the viewer would be, you could have your heart very guarded against them. You may be like, I would like a ring or I would like you to make a choice with the princess of swords. You may have given this person an ultimatum about what you wanted. And, um, you were like, I want this or I'm out, um, type of energy. It could have been a ring here. There could be some type of engagement or partnership or commitment or union, obviously that's involved here. Um, this, this could be severing ties and divorcing. I feel like that's for some of you that you're, um, you know, you would need to make a choice between like your family and another person. 
um, which would be very difficult, okay? And you're wondering if this is gonna pay off with the Seven of Pentacles. Um, so your person is wondering if they should invest any more time in you or if they should cut you off right here, okay? With the Princess of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like somebody willing to be like, no more, this is done, I'm out. And I don't want anything with you anymore. So there could have been a very sudden ending in your connection because um, somebody was very terrified of either getting hurt, like of going further. Um, that is for some of you. It says, I hid who I really am from you. Okay, so this is also your person not being able to be very open and honest with you. And I'm, I'm talking about you, the viewer. You are not able to be, I think, very authentic with this person. You had to hide parts of yourself from this person in order for them to kind of um, see you in a specific way and you're tired of doing so. It's almost like, or you're tired of what they're hiding from you, okay? And you're like, please just be honest and open and... You know, I would rather, what was that I, I posted the other day? It was like, I would rather an ugly lie than a, um, or I would rather a, um, an, uh, something like an, uh, like something to do with like an ugly lie or, or hit like a, something to do with like a, a truth, like an ugly truth, like, um, than a fucked up lie or something like, yeah, something like that. Okay. So it was exactly how I feel like this is happening. It's like, Give me the truth. I want the truth in this situation. And Scorpios are not um, are not uh, shy when it comes to being, um, you know, able to just make that cut. Okay, so and get rid of the situation and cut out this cut out this deception. Okay, and have some realization that you deserve someone who's chivalrous to you. Okay. And someone who is kind and considerate. Okay, because you're kind and you're considerate. Okay. We have the high lady of love and compassion. Look at that reverence, kindness, and consideration. This is what this person wants to give to you. This is what I'd be saying to your person, right? Like, this is what this person wants to give to you. This is who they are to you. They are very compassionate. They are very kind. They're very considerate of others. So when they cut you off, you deserved it because they're an empath here. And look what they're trying to show you is like, I'm an empath and I have deep feelings and I'm not going to hide, and I may have, they may have hid that they were an empath from you um, because they were ashamed of themselves. They didn't love themselves, or maybe their mother or someone in their life or feminines didn't, didn't um, acknowledge that part of them, their feminine, and like stifled them. So they were in toxic masculinity. For a lot of you, that is exactly the case. Okay, and that's where that deception comes into. It's almost like I had to hide who I was. I had to, I had to hide who I was from you. But now I'm not going to do that anymore with communication. Now it's like, no, now I'm going to bust out of my shell. I'm going to be exactly who I want to be. And I'm going to figure out whether this serves me or not. And if it doesn't, I'm getting rid of it. Okay, you have communication here. So this situation, um, this person requ requires that you communicate with them. If they're an air sign, they need that. They need you to communicate. Even a Scorpio needs you to communicate. Like, use your words. Okay, we have, we're, we're usually really irrit irritated with um, divine masculines or divine feminines, you know, when, the, when they're acting distorted because they don't communicate. And this is what an overthinker needs, a communicator, okay? This is what most of us need, communication, okay? Like I said, I'd rather, um, sorry, baby. Um, I would rather a, um, you know, an ugly truth than a bitter lie, you know what I mean? That type of energy, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, I just keep getting that, oh, that message over and over and over again. Yeah, so come on, baby. Come on, get down. Thank you. Yeah, so there's a need for clear communication of wants and needs in this relationship or connection. Work on communicating and connecting in different ways that are positive, healthy, and effective. Yeah, so if this was, if communication was uh, possible, this might change the dynamic of your connection. Um, this could help uh, get a rebirth started here. Um, this person uh, has a, has possibly like a, um, you being the viewer, you may have a, um, a spiritual animal of a dragon or your person could, but there's a lot of power and strength in your connection and in when you communicate, okay? And you may be a powerful communicator, a good communicator, or you're working on communication, okay? We have free yourself. Okay, so somebody wants to be free of um, maybe a toxic environment and they wanna be free of their thoughts, okay? It says it's time to take back control of your life. This could be this epiphany. You're like, I need to be free of this person. I need to be free of this situation. I need to get the F out. Like I can't do this anymore. I feel like for some of you, you got to your breaking point, okay? 
and the universe is supporting you with that, we have the universe as your partner in the hand, number 31. So something to do with hands, you guys may be very good with your hands, you may have, um, be very creative or talented, you may do something with um, sculptures is what I'm getting, painting, art, like you're just, you're very, very creative. Okay, and the dragon is here to show you that you're very powerful, very, very strong here, okay? So we have the lady of the gift, yeah. But be careful who you give your gift to, this empathic gift. Remember, not everybody is, is subject to our light. However, of course, you know, because we don't want to be drained uh, of our energy. But look, it's like this person knows how much they can give, okay? So it says generosity, receiving, and withholding. So yeah, there's a lot of generosity that's going on here in this connection, um, or this person wants to give a lot to you. Um, they hope to receive the same thing back, but they don't mind withholding if you're, you know, obviously if you're not going to give them what they want, I feel like this is kind of a temper tantrum type of energy. Somebody may throw a little temper tantrum like that and be immature and be like, well, then I'm not going to give you sex or I'm not going to give you this, which, okay, I'm not saying that those things are all immature or whatever, but those are just examples. Okay. Like I'm not going to do this for you because of that, but actually that's also holding a boundary. Okay. And it's also freeing yourself of, you know, giving too much. Okay. Making sure that you're getting the same back or the same, the same level. So, um, and what you as the viewer would not want to tell your person some messages to them would be, you've made me feel alive. Thank you. And some joy. So you got two cards about joy. So this person does make you feel alive. You feel like this whole situation, the way that it played out was very, very much meant to be, um, the way that things went down. Um, if things ended with you guys, that was definitely from possibly some trust issues here. Um, there's some past hurts or fear of getting hurt. Um, so somebody, um, really working on forgiveness and letting go is going to be very significant here. I'm not saying you, that what anybody did was right. Okay. It's just really that saying that everybody talks about and it's used a lot, but it is very relevant. It's not cliche. It's drinking poison and expecting another person to, pass away or die or to hurt from what you're doing. You're not, you know, they have to go through their own karma, their own situations. Um, and they may have a very guarded heart here and they may have been very deceptive to you. Um, you being the viewer. So this is where you were, you just got done with this person. You had to end this. Okay. You knew that there was some way that you needed to free yourself from this situation because the princess of swords isn't, isn't sad about, you know, cutting off, what doesn't serve over here, all these reversals, this, the sun reverse, the five of cups reverse, the seven of swords reverse, the eight of swords. That's a lot of energy to have to drop, but it's like a relief when he or she does. Okay. And this is deception right here. This is this lack of rebirth. This is this foggy energy. This is this not feeling loved. Okay. And remember that just because somebody tells you they love you does not mean they actually do. Uh, people use this as a tactic um, to love bomb. That's why it's called love bombing. Um, because it is easy to get people to, you know, come into their sphere, their target. So they target people. So your person, if they have messed you, like your person that's that you came to the reading about has messed you over and messed up, messed with someone else. That's about to end. That person's about to end that connection with them. Okay. So this is someone who's also finding out that your person is also deceptive. So if you thought that they were just going to go off and be chivalrous to someone else and that, you, or that they were going to just come back whenever they wanted to for forgiveness, you were like, no, no, sir, no, ma'am. No, we're not playing that game. Okay. So you got hit to the game. I feel like you got hit to the game. You got hit to the emotional manipulation that was going on. Um, they may have emo emotionally manipulated you with like engagement or partnership or commitment. Um, and so this is very sad because, um, you know, what you would say to your person is I cry over you a lot. Okay. So this really hurts you. Um, already I'm terrified of getting hurt, but I cry over you a lot. Yeah. You're terrified of this person may not want an engagement with you, but they're being deceptive about how they really feel too about their emotions. Cause look, we don't have any cup. Well, we do we have five cups down here reverse because we do have some cups. All right. We, we do have a little, okay. I got it. There is some there. Okay. But those emotions are blocked too, because it's reversed. So, um, this person may not have expressed to you that they, that they wanted this. And if you were like, I want an engagement or I'm out, well, that could be where you ended it. That's where this ultimatum comes in for some of you. That's definitely what I'm getting. So yeah, 
there's some sadness here. Um, it says, I can't get your voice out of my head. Yeah, so you guys can have a very, like I, with Neptune here, a very deep Scorpio here, very deep telepathic communication. This elephant is here, talks about telepathy. Okay, so there's a lot of um, mental energy that this person is constantly hearing your voice. Okay, you're always on their mind and you wanna tell this person, I can't get your voice out of my head. Like I still hear you, I still replay our conversations. I still look, at, I feel like somebody still looks at text messages and things like that. And this is exactly the energy I'm picking up on. Okay, so let's get, I'm gonna do a little clarifying here. Why is the sun reversed? Please give me um, the information, spirit, ancestors, and passed over loved ones, deities, gods, goddesses. Okay. Why is the sun reversed? I can't take those that are sideways. <laughs> yes, I know. The world, okay, so you guys could be at a distance or there could be travel or the or this is something you found out about online, okay? Or this could have been an online connection, online dating, something where you guys, um, maybe there was someone who wasn't being honest about being in another connection or there was someone here that was um, not acting with integrity, okay? Um, this could be that um, they are having, they may have to travel because they're so unhappy. They want to move. Okay. They want to get away from their situation. They may want to run away. Okay. Cause we have somebody who looks like with that princess of swords that they're, yeah, that something's happening. Okay. So we have the six of pentacles reversed over the five of cups. Okay. So this is no longer giving to this connection and no longer giving a fuck. I get like, I get this energy of like, you want to tell your person, like, I no longer give a fuck what you decide to do. If you step up to the plate, good. If you don't, okay, I'm all right. Like I, I can do bad by myself is what I'm getting as well. And you can, okay. Sag energy here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bad by yourself. Right. 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 Pisces here. Bad by yourself. Yeah. Those are two signs that, um, they would think, you know, it was like, oh, Pisces is clingy. Not necessarily, not always. Um, but no, um, I know a lot of Pisces who know how to rock by themselves, but they have a shit ton of friends because they are popular. Usually they're popular, okay? Like popular loner. Okay, check her out. Yeah, popular. Yeah, mm -hmm. beautiful. All right, so what else? Yeah, so listening to your intuition, like you have to break your own heart is what I'm getting. Listening to your own intuition broke your own heart. You found something out. Okay, with the high priestess here and the three of swords. And this is like, yeah, you may have so much intuition that you're like, okay, well, nothing's ever gonna work out for me because I'm always finding out what's gonna happen. I'm always finding out the deception about everybody breaking my heart. Okay, somebody trying somebody trying to, to, to break your heart too. Like, I feel like there could be love spells going on against you or you could be, you could be somebody who does love spells or have done love spells in the situation or you've consulted a, here's where it is, it's the high priestess. Um, some of you, yes, um, I said no. Um, they could be lying to you about, <laughs> they may have lied that they didn't go to a tarot reader about you, but they did. Okay, so that's for some of you, that's where that small portion gets here, the high priestess and the three of swords. Um, yeah, it's there. Okay, that's pretty telling. Okay, 10 of cups. Yeah, maybe the tarot reader told them that they um, they had to break their own heart. They had to get out of a family situation. They had to leave. They had to move. Um, it's kind of that energy of, of yeah, I'm getting like a, even someone who's gone, gone to me and I've been like, yo, um, yeah, what's going on with that home life? Because the Ten of Cups is like a disrupted home life with this Princess of Swords over it. So this could also be your daughter um, that's breaking your heart. Maybe somebody feels like their like their daughter is involved somehow. Um, your daughter could be a water sign. Could be kind of um, interfering with with something, but that could be what you're asking about here. Like, did they have a tarot reading about you? Did your daughter have a tarot reading about you? Okay, we have the two of wands over the seven of pentacles. That's about decisions. Everything here is about decisions here at the very end. It's like still deciding what path you're gonna take. Which path is fruitful for you? Okay, so which path is fruitful for pile number three? Like to tell your person like where to go. Your person needs to listen to their intuition, okay? Because they're breaking their own heart. Okay, is what I'm getting. They're breaking their own heart. Eight of swords reversed and the tower reversed. Yeah, it's one, it's whatever does the least damage. 
the lovers. Okay, so there could be a choice. There could be two people involved. Um, there could be two situations. There could be very much an energy of like a very spiritual connection here with the lovers. Like I said at the very beginning, they feel that this is a very divine connection. Um, and they're like, and they're hoping you as the viewer, you as the viewer that you're hoping that your person and I would tell them that you see this connection. You finally recognize it for what it is. Um, before it's too late, before you can't have this 10 of cups, before things get out of control and you choose a new direction away from this person. I feel like you have the ability and free will to change your path right now, you guys, and you're being asked to split off and to go in a new direction away from this person. I'm very, very sure of it. Okay, Spirit, I need some more messages here. Yeah, I need some more messages about this connection. Tell me what, what pile number three needs to know about this connection. Yeah, yeah, you as the viewer are being asked, like you or your person are asked to be to be true to your spiritual path, to take the spiritual path with the lovers because there's somebody here that's like, yo, wiki wiki, okay? Yeah, and you have the seven of pentacles reversed underneath that. Yeah, it's like what connection are you going to invest in? You may have to, to choose, okay? And choose either yourself or someone else. That's still a choice, you know, there you go. What is pal number three? What messages does pal number three need to know? Ask for help from others, okay? So that you may be able to rely on others, like family and friends for this connection. We have Venus here, so yeah. Peaceful resolution, okay? So this is the most peaceful resolution. Yeah, the tower reversed and the eight of swords reversed. It's like peacefully moving forward, gracefully. I feel like as the feminine here watching, most of you are feminines watching, um, I feel like you're gracefully moving on. And if you're a masculine and watching your feminine, she's gracefully moving on. And in a peaceful way, okay? And not in a loud way, not in a crazy way, in a, in a very intense way. Though with that, with that Princess of Swords, Princess of Swords is not, is not above hurting your feelings. It says it's up to you. Okay, so yeah, this is your choice. Free will, that's what I'm saying. It's up to you. What path are you going to choose? Ask for help from others about this and help, help get a peaceful resolution. Two more. Choose a new direction. What did I say? And communicate clearly. You guys, I don't make it up. I don't. And this is why I grabbed this deck because they have these messages and they kept coming into my head this way and they said, you need the angel answers deck. Okay. So communicating clearly, choosing a new direction with the world here. This is it. This is the ending of cycles. The end of a cycle for you guys. And you're going to start to become happy. Your dreams are coming true. You could possibly be getting engaged. Okay. After all of this. And I know that it's been very, very difficult and you've had a hard time freeing yourself from this, but you are on the way out. You are kind, loving, wonderful, attractive with this Venus, you know, like overly attractive. Like you may have, if you're, if your Venus is in Sag or your Neptune is in Sag, woo, we stay away from me. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I hope that it resonated. If it did like, share, subscribe, and comment all those good things down below. If you would like a personal reading, the link is also there. So if not, I'll see you for the next. Pick a card reading. Take care.